welcome or welcome back to Mars glow i hope you guys are doing well and that you're keeping safe during this time and that you're really taking care of yourself mentally emotionally and physically so i hope you guys are doing okay i'm so happy to have you here on this video because this lash tutorial has been so overdue i feel like i've been promising you guys this video for a while I'm so sorry but it's finally here and I know some of you guys are beginners in makeup and you're trying different looks different techniques and I know lashes can be very intimidating so worry not I'm here for you guys to show you how to put on your first pair of falsies and if you've done falsies before but you stopped it's okay you're also welcome on this tutorial to learn how to do your false lashes and if you wear falsies all the time Please stick around, share any other recommendations in the comment section and I hope you guys do enjoy this video. So I've already done a full face of makeup. The only thing left to add is eyelashes and that's what I'm going to be taking you through in this video. So if you want to see how I achieved my makeup look or you want to see various different types of makeup looks that I've done before, be sure to check the description box for a link to my makeup playlist. The lash pair we're going to be using today is from Rich Eyes and it's the baddest lash pair which is like super pretty and dramatic. You guys have definitely seen me use this pair in previous makeup tutorials and I wanted to use it today because I feel like it's going to really complement the makeup look that I have on today and because they are so wispy and um, fluffy and huge it's going to be easier for you guys to actually see how I apply the false lashes so I have a mirror here next to me a table mirror and I also have a cute little pocket mirror and I'm just going to be using both so that I'm really precise when I'm applying my lashes but you don't have to use both um, just use whatever mirror you have just make sure it's one that you can bring really close to your face so depending on your eye shape or your eye length some lashes may work for you or not and that's why it's so important to first measure out and see whether the lash is going to fit your eye before you actually put glue on it and i'm just going to place it like this and i feel like it's okay i think i can make it work sometimes i do extend the lash outwards slightly beyond my natural eye length which i actually don't mind because it actually makes my eyes look bigger and longer which i want but if they were really really long i'd have to cut them like snip off the ends just so it fits my eye well I like using a pair of tweezers to hold my lashes i feel like it really helps me grab onto it well i guess if you have long nails you can use your nails or if you have an actual um, lash holder you can use that but you want to use something that's going to really hold on to the lashes tightly so that they don't fall in the middle of the application process you're also going to need lash glue this particular one is the star glue eyelash adhesive and i like that it dries black so whenever i have um eyeliner on i like it when my lash glue actually dries black because it blends in with the eyeliner that i have on but when i don't have liner on i believe it's much better to use a lash glue that dries clear so that there is no like line or residue that is visible whenever you put on your lashes so if you can find a clear lash glue I feel like it will work best for you whether you have liner or not so I want to show you guys like step by step how to actually do this and I want it to be a really beginner friendly um, tutorial so this is the eyelash and I want to apply the glue on the band so this is the lash band and that's why you want to apply your glue you definitely want to avoid any glue getting onto the lash hairs i mean if it happens it's okay you can always clean it up but the aim is to get the eyelash onto the band because that's what's going to stick onto your lash line so i'm just going to go ahead and start applying the lash glue onto the band
and as you apply onto the band make sure you're using just enough and I know it might be hard to try and figure out what just enough is whenever you're applying um, lash glue onto your lashes especially if you're a beginner but over time you'll find out that your lashes need a certain amount of glue to stick onto your eyes so if you go less than that it's not going to stick onto your eyes very well and if you put too much glue it's going to be really bulky on your lash line so over time you'll just get to know how much lash glue you need to put on your lashes i feel like that's enough for me and you also want to make sure the lash glue gets onto the ends as well because this is where lashes tend to lift especially after a while so the ends are really really important so now we're going to play the waiting game and basically whenever you use um, lash glue unless it's been indicated on the product you need to wait for I'd say 30 seconds to a minute for it to get tacky because when it's too wet it's going to slide all over your lash line and if you wait too long like three minutes for example it's going to be completely dry and then you'll have to take it off and reapply it again so wait for about um, 30 seconds to a minute how long it dries depends on the product but that's the average amount of time you just want to wait for it to get tacky okay i feel like the glue is tacky enough now so i'm just going to pick up my cute little pocket mirror and then i'm going to look down so that's a major tip I want you guys to pick up from this tutorial whenever you're applying your lashes if you want to do it as effectively as possible put the mirror underneath you or if it's a table mirror try and tilt it so that you're looking down and then I like to start off with the middle and once the middle is stuck I pick up the end Put that side in and then I finish off by sticking the inner corner in and now I'm just reinforcing the glue onto my lash line just to make sure that it's stuck really really well And that's it <laughs> it's really simple I know when you're starting out it's very intimidating and it's going to take a while to actually know how to apply false lashes but once you get the hang of it you're so good to go I'm going to go ahead and also apply the lashes on this side just to show you guys again the process so that it really sticks So that's it both lashes are on and i hope this was a really simple process for you guys to understand and if not don't worry you can always rewatch this video every time you're going to apply your false lashes so another reason why you want to make sure you're looking down whenever you're applying your false lashes is because you want to apply them as close to your lash line as possible so that it looks more natural um it's okay if you don't get it exactly where um, your actual lashes almost start to sprout out but if you can get it as close as you can to your natural lash line of course avoiding any glue on your natural eyelashes just to prevent any damage on them then it's okay so always make sure that you're using your mirror right underneath you and that you're looking down as you apply your lashes so next we're going to go in with some regular black mascara and I'm using the great lash mascara from Maybelline in the shade blackest black and why i like to go in with mascara after doing my lashes and not before is because my natural lashes are naturally curly and so if i go in with mascara i feel like mascara curls my lashes even further and if i do that before then it's going to be so hard for me to actually place 
my lashes as close to my natural lash line as possible because now my natural lashes will just be standing in the way so that's why i like to do it after however if you have like straighter lashes then you can actually go in with the mascara before or you can go in with a lash color to just curl your lashes and then you can apply your falsies so i'm just going to apply a single coat i feel like a single coat is enough for me to actually blend in my natural lashes and sometimes i also like to go into the tips of the falsies i feel like it makes them wispier whenever i apply a slight amount of mascara on them and we're also going to go into the bottom lashes with some mascara because the lashes are so um, heavy and huge i just want to create a bit of balance obviously my lower lashes won't be as wispy as the falsies but it's good to create some balance whenever you apply false lashes so try and go in with some mascara on your lower lashes as well And to make life easier for yourself whenever you're applying mascara on your bottom lashes you can take your mirror and then tilt it upwards so that you can really get into the roots of your lower lashes So that's it. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you found it a bit easier to actually um, try and figure out how to wear false lashes. And if you're a beginner, worry not. It's going to get simpler as it goes on. So be sure to share with me your thoughts in the comment section down below. And be sure to tag me if you put on your first pair of false lashes. I would definitely love to see it. I really appreciate you guys. I hope you keep staying safe during this time. And I can't wait to see you in my next video.